if you watched the previous clip about unit testing for stored procedures i have done something and it worked fine but the issue was and i can say is that it was so behind and manual if you want to do and have unit testing against a very big project with so many business logic then that manual way is so painful time consuming difficult hard to understand so in this clip i'm going to show you how we can use something efficient as a tool to ease the job there is so many tools to deal with but one of the most common ways and one of one of the most common tool is visual studio let me tell you something do not go for visual studio preview i had tried it failed and based on my short researches it seems the preview version of visual studio 2022 is not ready yet so go for the main release and something which is not in preview version let's jump to visual studio and see what we gonna do this is visual studio see this is not preview okay file new project we should wait for the templates it's the first time for me after a very big update so it takes a little bit time okay choose this sql server database project if you can't find just look for data and then you will find this template see it's still searching this one for me because i previously used it would be as one of the favorite uh, project types for me so either way search or if you already use this type of projects choose it from here next the name the name erp db test like this create as i said we are going to have something visual instead of dealing with manual or difficult way of testing so this is my solution what should i do now this is one of the ways use import like this right click import choose database select connection choose your connection like this then choose your database for me it's erpdb connect it's almost ready start sometimes it takes time sometimes it won't finish so as you can see my start procedures are here get all customers and the tables no issue perfect now right click on get all customers one of my stored procedures that i am going to write a test against it then choose create unit test 
like this. This one also might take time. New project name ERPDB test. And then the test file. All customers test cases. Whatever. All like this. Customer test Z. New project name should not be same as this. So I can say all, for example. Naming is in your hands, whatever you want. This one again might take time to create a test project. Yes, you can ignore it or you can use and choose the connection again. And then, yeah. Okay. You have something visual here. First of all, first of all, just delete it. How? Delete. See, it's still working to add all the dependencies and whatever we need. No issue. Delete it. So now you would be able to add some things that calls test conditions. How? Click add. As you can see, there is some options here. So let's delete it. Come back to PowerPoint and talk about test conditions. Test conditions. Sometimes you want to check the number of rows that a stored procedure retains. Sometimes you want to check just an scholar value. Sometimes value check. Sometimes the result should not be empty. Sometimes should be empty. Or you are expecting a certain schema. Or you want to check the execution time. Let's come back to Visual Studio at first. Now, I want to add, for example, not empty result set. Or, for example, uh something like which one is easier for you guys to watch and see let's go for empty result set we add it then by right click and choose properties you will see them here so you can say you are expecting a certain number of result sets like this or you can say you are expecting the certain number of rows like this here so imagine that your test is fine and it's well defined so by clicking on your test you can simply say run test like this like what you have in dotnet development test cases and the things that you are already familiar with see the test explorer is here you can say test all, test some, test one of them, like this. Yeah. 
See, it's absolutely like what you have in TDD and unit testing in .NET development, like this. See, it failed. It has all the explanations as you are expecting, like this. See? But, but, the issue is, since my stored procedure is so easy and silly, going and teaching you all of these scenarios is a little bit difficult. And till now, I had a plan to just show you the way that we can deal with unit testing against stored procedures and in, ge in, in general database. Give me some time. I will create some business and a more complicated database and table structures. Then we come back and we'll try to check these things one by one. You can be a little bit more vigilant and do such things by your own and give us the result. Thank you so much and wait for the next one.